Thirdly, we should follow Jehoshaphat's example in responding to divine correction by advancing the work of God. Not only did he call back people back to the ways of God, but then he advanced the work of God. His initial work was teaching. His uh, renewed work was a call to repentance. And now he advances the work of God. He advances the cause of justice among the people of Judah. First of all, his heart for the people over whom he reigns is that they would know and experience justice. And so, verse 5, he appointed judges in the land in each of the fortified cities throughout Judah. Jehoshaphat, whose name means the Lord is judge, is reminding those whom he appoints as judges that they are accountable to the Lord who is judge. Because Jehoshaphat's heart is for the people that they know justice. And so he says to the judges that he appoints, verse 6, consider carefully what you do because you're not judging for mere mortals, but for the Lord, who is with you whenever you give a verdict. Now let the fear of the Lord be on you. Judge carefully, for with the Lord our God there is no injustice, no partiality, no bribery. So he's telling the justices what justice looks like as those judges who are accountable to God. He advances the cause of justice among the people of Judah, but he also advances the cause of justice in Jerusalem. So verse 8 says, in Jerusalem also. It's not just among the people of Judah, but in Jerusalem also. Jehoshaphat appointed some of the Levites, priests, and heads of Israelite families to administer judge according to the law of the Lord and to settle disputes. And they lived in Jerusalem. And he gave them these orders. You must serve faithfully and wholeheartedly in the fear of the Lord. Because justice matters. Note that Joseph, Jehoshaphat also advances the cause of justice by creating accountability, oversight for those whom he has appointed Judges both in the fortified cities of Jerusalem and in Jerusalem itself. He appoints Am Am Amariah, the chief priest. He appoints the chief priest to be over the appointed judges in any matter concerning the Lord. And then he appoints Zebediah, son of Ishmael, the leader of the tribe of Judah who will be over all the appointed judges in any matter concerning the king. So if the issue relates to matters concerning the Lord and the law of the Lord, then they're to go to, the, to Amariah for counsel. And ultimately, they'll be accountable to Amariah for their judgments. If it's a civil matter, if it's a matter of the ruling of the king... Then they go to Zebediah for the interpretation. And they will be accountable to Zebediah for their judgments. And then Jehoshaphat ends with these words to all of these appointed men. Act with courage and may the Lord be with those who do well. Here's the enduring principle from this text concerning advancing the work, work of God. One may be appointed to the court as judge by the king or in our modern context by the president. But all judges should remember this, and this is Jehoshaphat's point. The Lord is judge.